What is going on, YouTube? This is your boy, Holly Road 90 with this year's LeBron ID. Last year, I ID'd some LeBron 10s uh, with the South Beach colors. And this year, I was really excited because they brought out the Chroma. And the first time I saw it was on some KD5s. And I knew that it would be um, a special option for Nike. So this is my Nike ID design. It's very basic. A lot of people have have gone off on this. Um, worn it around to my local house of hoops. There's the Nike ID, so you know it's not from Jenny or whoever else. Um, let me say, first, um, I ordered these October 16th. They did not get here until December 14th. Uh, they got delayed a month. A lot of people have been talking about the delay that um, Nike had to do with the Chroma option. Um, they also took the Chroma option down from being 20 extra dollars to no extra cost at all, which I thought was kind of weird. So the Chroma with the shipping and everything was 280 and Nike sent me a letter saying that... You know, um, Sorry that we were not able to get them out to you on time. And they actually refunded me 50%. And they sent me a coupon for 15% off of my next Nike.com order, not Nike ID. Uh, if I hold it over here, you can kind of see the green. Um, it's I consider it gold. It's green. It's yellow. Um, if you've ever seen... Um, like a piece of metal that has this, um, this tone to it. It's a little bit of green and yellow. Um, incredibly sick shoe, really comfortable. My ID, I had some Roman numerals in there that mean something to me. Um, there's a 10 on this side. So I kept it simple. Um, I'm very impressed with the material. It's very comfortable. I was pretty pissed off at Nike that they took so long that I was getting my birthday present to me at Christmas, but um, I've gotten nothing but compliments, and I actually, uh, I did play basketball in these, and this has to be the worst traction that I've gotten out of a shoe that that I paid good money to play basketball in. Um, this is the first time I went with a solid... Um, a solid sole and you know when you get the bottom of your shoes wet at the gym and you kind of kick them around they go er, 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 er. this just slides so I will continue to be playing basketball in my tens because to me this is more of a for show shoe um, I did not it's very comfortable it is very very comfortable it is much more comfortable than the 10 but the traction and maybe it was just because I got the solid. In years past, my basketball shoes have been the ice bottom. Last year, I ice bottomed um, their atomic teal for the for the South Beach colorway. This just wasn't doing well. Um, I played a couple games in it, gave it another day, played a couple games in it. My feet do not hurt in this shoe. This shoe is very comfortable. So we go over here. It looks more green. Oh, that's oh, this light's better. Um, shoe was very comfortable, but it had poor traction. Not a big deal. With something that looks like this, this is something that you bring out once in a while. Um, although I have been wearing it for the last four days. Something I would like to point out is the amount of glue that came on my shoe. You can, you can see that space that is all glue that's showing up. If it, it looks like a small gap, but there is no gap. That is glue. You can tell where the glue or where uh, the chroma layers were put on. This one looks particularly awful. That's not from playing in it. That is how it came. I was going to do an unboxing, but I just did not have time to get around to it. Um, I wouldn't say that that is a buyer beware. 
I don't think there's any real issue with that unless this starts to pop up. If you notice, this is the chroma that they've used on the King's Pride colorway, but on the King's Pride, it's only on these elevated surfaces. So it's on this part, not this part, this part, not this part, which is why I like the chroma because you had more of the coverage on it. So it was on this front, not here, but on this, on this bottom side. Oh, come on, focus. Um, these, I'm really happy with these. They're unique, and I don't think anyone else, I mean, of course, the design is out there now. Here you go. Um, no one else has anything like this. I wore these to my Foot Locker House of Hoops and Finish Line, just doing some Christmas shopping, and my reception was, was pretty, uh, pretty nuts. Minus the glue, minus the traction, um... <laughs> Minus the extra month I had to wait. Oh, I also took the lace lock off. They had a, a white lion lace lock on here. And just like every year, it was a bitch. Um, you can kind of see the green. Sometimes it looks more green. Right now it looks more gold because the light is directly on it. If I put it on the ground, let's get a light on that. still looks more gold from up here um so what i was going for was uh some people have called it the the dmp oh right there it looks green but it's a cool green um some people have referred to it as like a dmp that was not my intention when i made it but um i can see that with the black and the white and the gold i when i think dmp i think mostly black and gold um But yeah, there it is. Um, it's it's a good thick material. The hyperfuse feels good. It's very breathable, much lighter than the ten. Um, the flywire feels good once again. I like that they've made that a standard in all of their basketball shoes. The tongue impressed me. Uh, the tongue was very thick and has good design features to it. It kind of looks like a lion, I think. If you could say that that's like the mane or whatever. Um, the chroma tab. Oh, on my right foot, I wore this with low socks the other day, and this just kept rubbing against the front of my of my foot. These are size 12, so it's not, I'm not a small guy, but it was just rubbing on me the, the wrong way, so today I wore some elite socks and problem solved, so I know better now. But that white piece of material there, with the X, with the I inside of it, that was rubbing the hell out of me. Um... Let me know what y'all think. This is my Nike ID design. You can see the six dots right there, and there's six little slots right there. Um, it's a good shoe. It's very light. I will do an on foot when I have time again. Um, I, as far as the real, the real deals that are not replicas or knockoffs or from anywhere else, I think. In my humble opinion, these are the sickest LeBron IDs so far. Although, don't get me wrong, I saw those scary pumpkins, and those are crazy. That Those crazy pumpkins are something special. Um, I forget the cat's name that did those, but shout out to him. Those are nuts. With the glow in the dark. Um, I really wanted glow in the dark on this, but I was going to make that glow in the dark, and maybe the laces. But I'm happy with that white overlay. Um, on the 10, I had the overlay on top of the silver. It was teal and most of it peeled off, which is why I'm not planning on playing a ton of basketball on these. I will do an on foot. Let's see if we can get more color shift going on. We'll do an on foot. Now you get to see my messy room. Um, but other than waiting an extra month, uh, man, I am so happy with these. And you can see glue. Still see glue. Um, I don't like the sole. I don't like that they took the Max Air, the full length Max Air unit out. That was crazy responsive and it was really special. If they had put that Air unit on this shoe, um, it would be a much better 
Res- it would have better responsiveness. I like the Lunar Lawn. It's very comfortable. Um, again, I'm like 220 pounds. And so it's been, you know, it's taken some breaking in like all shoes do. But there was just something special about the way they designed the 10. And LeBron thinks so too. Um, come on, focus. There we go. This is my Nike ID. Oh, I called these my White Rangers. That's what I did. I called them my White Rangers. If you were born in the 90s, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't even know if there is a White Ranger anymore, but these are my White Rangers. And that was a line, and LeBron's a line. So having the line lace lock was cool until I tried to lace them up and down. So let me know what you think. These are my LeBron 11s. I will do an on foot. Let me know what you think. Peace.